Gulf of Mexico is an incredibly special body of water. It basically serves as the nursery for just about all life in the Atlantic Ocean. A lot of the sea turtles come here to the Gulf of Mexico to nest, even though they live their lives throughout the entire Atlantic Ocean. And traditionally, what we do at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we work to just monitor those nests and then let nature take its course and let those hatchlings then go right back into the Gulf. Because of the oil spill, there's a great fear that this year's hatch off of this beach would be completely lost if we let it go back into the Gulf. There really is a calamity uh, developing. If we don't do anything, probably all 70,000 hatchlings that would be emerging from the beaches are going to be swimming into their doom. A plan has been developed to try to save these nests from certain death. What we're going to be doing is we're taking all of the nests and we're going to be moving them to the Atlantic coast side of Florida. And there, those turtles will then hatch and be released directly into the Atlantic, thus removing the risk of them being released into the Gulf directly. We knew we could get the eggs out of the sand. We knew we could allow them to incubate in place. We knew we could release them into a safe environment. But how do you actually move all those eggs over the course of uh, several months in a safe way? We approached FedEx as FedEx has been a partner with the foundation now for over a year doing many other projects. And it became very obvious that FedEx not only could contribute incredible advice, but then offer to do it as a philanthropic gesture, the actual movement. The way this works is fish and wildlife folks are excavating hundreds of sea turtle nests along the coast. They carefully dig those nests up, put them in special styrofoam containers in sand, and bring them to us to be loaded on our truck. FedEx Custom Critical is transporting the eggs on an eight-hour trip to the John F. Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral, Florida, where the eggs will be stored at a temperature-controlled facility until they are ready to hatch. Once the little guys hatch, they will be released onto the beach, where they will make their way out to the clean waters of the Atlantic. There they go. <laughs> FedEx Custom Critical trailers are perfect for this because they're climate controlled, they have a satellite monitoring system that monitors every second of every day. These trailers are designed to securely hold any type of cargo and in this particular case it's extremely important because these turtle eggs can die if they are jostled or shaken in any way. The hatchlings inside those eggs are very tenuously connected to the side of the shell so it's very important that there's as little movement as possible. FedEx has designed a special pallet that holds six individual containers of eggs. They're spaced so that each one can essentially breathe. The containers are equipped with air holes. You don't want them to be right up next to each other. Also in the design of the pallets, FedEx put rubber shock absorbers, particularly to secure the turtle eggs and prevent any additional vibration. Once the pallets are made, once the styrofoam containers are made, we are ready for the eggs. Equipment's in good shape, roads are in good shape, we're in good shape. It's amazing. It's something that makes you feel like you're really doing something worthwhile for our country and for the world. The fact that we can all come together, FedEx, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, the Fish and Wildlife Service, the Unified Command, and come up with a plan and actually carry out a plan to try to save some of the natural resources that would clearly be lost if we didn't step in is not only rewarding, it is one of those things that you cherish the rest of your life.